Alright guys, yeah, John Blades here on about Zippo lighters. Um, this is going to be a, a troubleshooting video. Um, it was a video request by Prank Friends. Um, and uh, he sent me a message with the problem that his Zippo was uh, was not sparking. Um, so I have my Zippos here just to kind of show you um, where my collection is. If you haven't seen the uh, my previous Zippo video, but this is where it's at right now. Um, I have the Biohazard one that I got just because of that app. I don't know if you've played the uh, Zippo app on like iPhone, but that's what that's from. And then my Jack Daniels Zippo and my black matte black zippo. This was actually the first zippo I ever owned and this is what we're going to be using in the video. Um, but he said his problem was that he was striking the uh, I can't re remember exactly what the uh, what the issue was but from what I can recall it was to the extent that uh, he wasn't getting a spark from his flint wheel. I'm not sure if his flint wheel was stuck or if uh, he simply wasn't getting a spark. Um, a lot of times what happens when you first replace a flint is that the uh, the flints, and I have a, a new pack right here. Uh, this is Zippo brand flints. This is how it kind of comes. And this little little thing and then kind of just dispense out the side there but here's a new flint and on these tops here it's rough and, and you probably won't be able to see it but um you know it's machined off on the sides or on the tops here and then coated with that gold paint and when you first replace it, a lot of times it gets stuck, and I'm going to show you that in a second. So what I'm going to do is take this old flint out. And, uh, I do have a video on how to do this. We'll take that out. And we don't need to take the old flint out, I don't think. But it is, it's getting kind of small. It still works, but that's small, so I'll, I'll replace it with this one and what I want to do and before I do that let me get to the other problem that's possible if you look at the end of this this uh, spring it's got that little plug on it right, let me see if you can kinda kinda see It's going to be hard because the lighting is so bad. This, just take my word for it, this looks exactly like a flint. And when it's in your... When your flint gets really low and uh, it kind of slips out of, of where it's supposed to be being held, this thing pops up and it looks just like a flint. And your spark wheel will actually rotate but it just won't spark and you'll be looking in there and thinking huh you know I wonder what's going on I know there's a flint in there I just put it in there um, or I can see it in there if you just put it in there it's probably something different but if you, you know you're looking and you can say okay well I can see it so you know it must be in there it's just it's not working something's broken uh, unscrew it and actually see if there is a flint in there Let's do that, and I believe the flint I had on here just rolled away. Uh, so, I'll find it later. Oh, no, here it is. Look at that. Just couldn't see it. So we put the new flint in there, and screw this back in. So again, the first trouble that it might not be sparking is that there's simply no flint in there, right? So that could be the case. Now, once your flint's in there, you, you've just replaced it, it, uh, it locks into place. And uh, the, it doesn't move at all. Your, your spark wheel doesn't move. There's no sparks because it's not moving. 
And that's because the uh, the new flint is rough and you kind of have to align it. So in order to do that, you rotate, you know, when you spark your lighter, it's not going to rotate. So rotate it the other way, right, towards the, I guess like on the bottom it would be away from the chimney. On the top it would be into the, into the wick kind of, but like that. And then go the other way, and it will start sparking because the groove's been kind of cut out, and your flint's now aligned. So that's the uh, another problem that's very common when you just replace it. The another issue is once you're once you're um, you know, you, you've filled it, you've replaced the flint, and it's, it's, it's just not lighting. Uh, it, it might be that your wick is burnt. These wicks, um, they do not last forever. Uh, once they're burnt, they will not light. So you pull, you can pull them out with a needle nose pliers or something similar, and uh, just pull them to where you can see the charred section and then the white section, the clean wick underneath. Pull the clean wick up about even with the chimney and cut it off. And then your Zippo will, um, you know, spark and flame when you, when you need it to. And I have brand new wick in this one because uh, this is a brand new Zippo. And you can see the flame is there uh, perfectly. Um, windproof, yeah, just Zippo's great lighters overall. Um, they do not self extinguish, something to be aware of once you light them. You know, they're lit, they're gonna stay lit. You know, you can blow on them, they're gonna stay lit until you close that lid and cut off the oxygen to the, uh, the, the flame itself. And then finally, I just want to show you, this is the uh, the wick that you use. It comes attached to a piece of cardboard, black cardboard. It's uh, like shrink wrapped on there with some plastic. And then you cut it off, and it's a four four and a half inch wick. That's uh, 115 millimeters. And the, uh, the wick, you just pull that out and feed the new one through. Um, again, I have other Zippo videos. I know at least one more that talks a lot about uh, replacing the flints and stuff. But this was just kind of hopefully what I thought would be a quicker video. I know I dragged it out to like eight minutes already, but um, I might have some more Zippo videos. Comment or like the video if you enjoy Zippo related stuff. Um, and I might be able to do that more often. Uh, cause you know, I, I do have some more ideas, like whether, like how to tell Zippo or counterfeits, copies, stuff like that. But for the most part, uh, I think I've covered pretty much everything there is, which is why I don't do Zippo videos a lot. Um, I just had this request. Another thing, I have the uh, the Zippo brand fluid out. That's what it looks like. It just burns cleaner than um. Other, uh, that's the front, sorry. Zippo Premium Lighter Fluid. Um, more expensive than other brands, but uh, cleaner. Not necessarily better, I think. I mean, from all the fluids I've used, this is the best. But there could be a brand out there even better. If so, you know, feel free to comment down below with your preferences. But as always, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, for my viewer prank friends, um, if that's how you say your name, hopefully it is, then uh, I hope this video was helpful and you got it figured out. If not, uh, maybe do a video response showing me what's wrong. And uh, if I can't figure it out, then um, I'll help you figure out how to send it back to... Uh, Zippo and uh, they'll replace it for you. But uh, as always, thanks for watching and uh, check back soon because I do have more videos to come.